When I tell you this made me look like a drug dealer, it made me look like a drug dealer. Drug dealers carry that type of stuff. They carry two phones and cash. What's going on guys, JGB Roll back here with a video. Today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. And what today's video is gonna be about is the story time on how I got detained at Cheyenne High School. Cheyenne High School is actually a high school I went to in ninth and so ninth and 10th grade is the years I went in Cheyenne High School. And I just wanna let you guys know before I start the story off, I did not mean to cause trouble, any harm towards other students or any drug deals out there to sell any illegal items. I was not out there to do any of that. So before you guys even put down those comment sections or that comment of yours, that's not what it was about. So what basically happened? I was, I, I, I went out my house to go take a trip on my dad's bike, right? And so I parked my bike at Craig Ranch Park. I parked it. I lock it in. I walk all the way to Walmart because I'm a venturist. And there's nothing good in Walmart, so I walk out, you know what I'm saying? And I walk all the way to Cheyenne. Now Cheyenne from Walmart, from that distance is like 30 minutes. I had done research, okay, I'm sorry. So I had went from Walmart to Cheyenne High School, walked all the way over there, right? And it was like, probably like 10, 11 in the morning, I think. And it happened somewhere around like June 5th somewhere in the beginning of June. And so when I got to Cheyenne, in this, when, when you drive in, there's like this little like brick wall where you can sit on. So I had sat on that, right? And I was there for like, probably like half an hour, maybe like 27 minutes. So after being there for a couple of minutes, this dude comes up and he thought I was somebody else, right? So some random dude. He went to, he, he went to uh, go meet up someone over here at Cheyenne, but he thought that I was him. And I was like, nah, bro. So after, after me and him talking for a bit, um. I was thinking about this already when I got there before even he arrived. I was thinking about going up to the doors, right? But he had told me, he's like, you wanna go up to the doors and just check out the front, right? Cause I was like kind of far away. So we walk all the way up to the front of the uh, school. It wasn't much, right? The doors were closed. We weren't thinking much. We were just checking out the school, looking above, right? And you guys won't even like believe this, but a teacher comes out the building. She's like, what are you guys here doing? And remember, I'm over here visiting the school, if you guys didn't notice. I, I came here to visit the school, and we, well, we were like, we came here to visit the school. She knows the other dude who had ran into me. She, she knows that, like, he graduated school, so, like, he's already known to her. And so she asked me, she was like, like, do I go here? I'm like, yeah, I go to Cheyenne. She was like, what grade are you in? I was like, I'm beginning to be a junior. And she was like, I thought I saw you here. I was, I thought I was like, it was over because honestly, when a teacher says, I thought you, I saw you here, it, it might mean that she's not gonna let you go and that she wants you to go into class. Cause I honestly, I didn't, wasn't even registered to Cheyenne at that, that time for junior. So I didn't have no summer school. She kind of like let us off and she was like, well, you guys are not allowed on property. So I was like, all right, we weren't gonna call trouble. If she said we weren't allowed to be on property, we weren't gonna be on property. So we walk, we walk all the way to that brick wall I was sitting at and we, we look behind us, right? And we see like little like shiny badge thing. And then like the dude, he was like, wait, hold up. Just in case it was somebody he was looking for. And he goes closer. And then when he notices the cop, so I'm like, oh. So we like kind of like sprint walk all the way to the crosswalk, right? Now we're not on the school property side. We're on like the other side where the houses are. And we're walking, we're like speed walking on the other side. And his crews comes right next to us. Like we're walking right here and his crews bumps right next. And I'm like, oh, come on. So now we're like, we're stuck, right? Like, there's no point. Like, if you run, you're gonna get in more trouble. So he comes out of his car, he's like, so what you guys came here to do? We're like, we came here to visit school. Now we're gonna be honest, because we didn't do anything wrong. We weren't gonna cause any trouble. We weren't gonna do none of that. We weren't gonna do anything wrong, right? So we, we were honest with him. And then after a couple of minutes of talking and stuff and how we were explaining why we were there, he had detained us for like five, seven minutes. And in those three minutes, he had searched us, so this is where things got real, like, it felt like I was going to jail. He had searched him first, you know, he had his legs spread out, his hands behind his back like that. And I'm like, damn, he searched his bags, it's cool. He searched me, I'm like this, he searched my pockets. He noticed I had a chapstick, I'm like, god damn, he's been doing this forever. So he searches me, he searches my bag, and he pulls out my pockets. Now it looks like what I, wait, what he pulled out my pockets kind of looked like what I was. I had this phone I'm recording on, my iPhone 6, and I had a stack of cash on my left pocket, or my right pocket. When I tell you 
this made me look like a drug dealer, it made me look like a drug dealer. Drug dealers carry that type of stuff. They carry two phones and cash. Now, I didn't, I don't know how he didn't get caught on to that, but maybe because my bag did not smell like weed and it didn't look like I'm the type of person to sell drugs. Now, if my bag did smell like weed, he probably would have took me to juvie and I would have been gone and wouldn't be doing this video. But he had searched me, searched my bag. Um, after he was done searching, he was like, you guys are cool. Um, he was explaining to us, like, you know, if you want to come to school, just call him next time and then, you know, maybe it'll let you come in. I'm like, alright, bad, bad, bad. And then, yeah, like, he just let us go. Like, it, it was very, like, like, scary at first because this is my first time being involved with the police. Like, I haven't even been contacted by the police before, so, like, like, if we're at first, like, if you're the first person to never been contacted by police and you first run into a police and you have a problem with them, What's your first inference? Like, I'm about to go to jail. I'm about to go to jail. I'm done. So, luckily I didn't go to jail. I didn't start no problem. Shout out to the policemen, the school campus teachers, because they didn't, like, suspect anything. Although they didn't suspect that's for safety reasons. They didn't suspect anything, like, suspicious, like I'm, I have a gun or whatever, you know. But luckily they came after us, because for students like those, they do have real stuff and real guns and stuff. And, like... More like most students like who they really do drug deals over there and really like cause a lot of trouble there and not invited so the reason why we were like chased by was because we weren't invited to the school we came to go look and visit the school but because we weren't invited to the school it's the reason why we got chased off by the police campus but it's okay at least i'm so free i'm not in handcuffs we weren't in handcuffs even when we were detained so he had let us go i posted it on my story um yeah it was just a crazy night a crazy it wasn't even night night it was just a crazy day and i'm gonna be honest bro please don't get into trouble if you're at school if you go to cheyenne please get the education listen to the teachers do your homework get good grades because trust me it's gonna be very worth it so don't even get in trouble like me bro don't it's not worth it all right don't do it okay i promise you everything will be fine if you don't get in trouble and you get good grades all right but like hey we were in trouble i didn't get in trouble we didn't get any charges be cool it's just that this was my first time getting detained at Shine High School, even out of school. So that's the end of the story. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to the video. And if you're already subscribed, please turn on the notification bell. Notification bell. To see every video I post on a daily. I have a schedule. Try to post like every day, day. Three. Can't speak. Every three days. And if you guys want to tune in on my new videos, please like them. Please comment down below and any other videos you want me to do. I got a banger video coming next. Or maybe a vlog, I don't know. But hey, I'm about to post the video, edit it. Hope you guys watch it. Yeah. It's your boy JJB World, and I'm out. Peace.